Hi, I'm Cristina Ortiz. Have you ever wondered how life arrived to faraway islands? Sea crossings are the main way newly formed islands become populated with plants and animals. This is the case for the iguanas that inhabit the remote and isolated islands of Fiji and Tonga. According to a new study published on March 17, 2025, these iguanas travel 5,000 miles from North America to the islands by using natural rafts. Even the scientists thought that seemed crazy, so they considered other options. North America just seemed too far away. Yet, it is very common to see iguanas floating on vegetation and falling trees. In fact, this is how they arrived from South America to the Galapagos Islands. So, the scientists thought that if the iguanas did that trip centuries ago, they could have arrived to Fiji and Tonga from Central or South America. However, there was no genetic or fossil evidence to support this hypothesis. Lead author Simon Scarpera of the University of San Francisco compiled DNA of more than 200 iguana specimens found in museum collections around the world. When comparing this data, one result stood out clearly. Fiji and Tonga iguanas are closely related to iguanas of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. These iguanas are adapted to the scorching heat of the deserts, so they can go a long time without eating or drinking. Plus, the rafts they travel on were likely made of fallen trees and other plants. Iguanas are herbivores, and the rafts themselves will have provided them with food. The scientists also discovered the iguanas arrived in Fiji and Tonga as soon as the islands formed, or a little after, around 45 million years ago. This was the moment when the genetic divergence of both species happened. What an amazing animal! A modern-day sailor using the wind to reach Fiji from California will need about a month to get there. Can you imagine how long it will take the iguanas to reach the islands by floating on a raft? 